The search continues for the second black box from the China Eastern Airlines plane that crashed on Monday, with officials and emergency personnel having to work in extremely difficult conditions at the crash site. China correspondent Elizabeth Law, who is at Teng County in Guangxi, has more on the ongoing search. So we're here at the crash site. It's basically, they've set up a small village-looking thing where search and rescue efforts are still going on. Um, we've just heard from one of the commanders from the firefighting team that it has been very difficult. It has been raining for days. The ground here is extremely muddy. The terrain is very steep, and he said that there, there is a possibility of snakes and other things that could be within the forest as well, especially seen, since some of the rescuers here aren't quite familiar. Um, he says that because they pumped the water out of one of the indents yesterday, they were able to find black box, um, and they are continuing to look for the second black box today. Um, but they believe that the continued rain throughout the week is going to hamper efforts. Um, it is quite chaotic here. Everyone is rushing around quite a bit. You can hear a bit of quite a lot of shouting. Um, earlier on, when it was lunchtime, people have been bringing in food and other supplies on motorcycles simply because the road through the village entering this place is just so narrow that even our vehicle that we were in driving on a media convoy was having trouble navigating the roads. Um, so it is a very difficult effort, and especially as we edge towards the 72-hour mark, um, we will await to see what else happens and if there will be any more announcements.